thanks for stopping by. Today I wanted to take you on a tour of the pond out in the sunroom. We've still got a lot of work to do on the sunroom before I can reveal the whole thing to you, but I would like to show you the pond because um, I've taken a lot of my plants and put them out there by it and it looks awesome. And remember how I told you that I thought once winter was over that I would stop buying so many plants? That was false. I'll be showing you a few of the plants that I bought to put around the pond. And then probably my next video I'll show you the rest of the plants that I've purchased and ones that I got in the plant swap. Wow, I got so many cool plants from the plant swap like I can't even, I can't even. So I'm excited to show you guys all of those in my next video. Uh, Okie doke, let's just head on out there and I'll show you what we got going on. I had a lot of comments last time I did a video out here about the sound of the fountain. And a lot of you liked it, uh, some of you hated it, and some of you, it made you had to tinkle. So um, anyway, hopefully it's not as loud today because the pond's fuller and it won't be bothersome or make you have to go to the bathroom. <laughs> I haven't painted this wall yet over here, but the pond area is done, so I just wanted to show you all the neat plants. Um, the first plant that I've got there, this is a new one. Uh, this is a dumb cane, a Diffenbachia, and I can't remember the name of it. I think it might have something to do with snow in the name. If you guys know what it is, shout it out. But it was on clearance at Lowe's, and I had to cut a ton of leaves off of it, but I think... It's very beautiful. That's a new leaf that just unfurled. Okay, and then just down from that, this is the Philodendron Silver Sword. This plant was wrapped up this pole here, but it was very like spindly looking. So I took a whole bunch of cuttings off of it and I'm rooting those in water so that I can plant them in there and hopefully thicken this guy up. A little bit. I found that on the Facebook marketplace for a very good deal. Okay and then over here in the next to that I've got a bunch of snake plants and I don't even know the names of all of them to be honest but I know this one's salad fingers. Just kidding I don't know what it's called for real because I thought it was the uh, cylindrical but it's actually not cylindrical because it's got the indentation in the in there maybe that's how cylindrical ones are but I've never noticed that before so if you guys know what any of these varieties are please let me know and um, this one came from Sam Heatha from the swap and then I got a lot of these ones from Linda May um, back here I've got a Bantel Sensation, which is this one. And then the one behind that, it's like Sayurii Sansevieria or something like that. They're very similar, both beautiful and striped. And then um, down here, I got this one from Glasshouse Works. This is the Rapidifora Panama. It came on this big stump. It's got a new leaf unfurling. It seems to be a pretty easy one to take care of. I'm not sure what it is exactly because I thought it was one of the tile plants, but it doesn't really seem to be one of those. So I don't know. We shall see. Um, next to that is the Maria Aglionema. Um, this is a plant that I got from Linda May. And I just moved it out here. It seems to be much happier out here. It did feel a little bit cardboardy. I had it in my basement and now it's nice and like supple. And it's growing a new little leaf already. And then this plant is a new one. This is called a tree ivy. So this plant is pretty interesting. Its um, nickname is actually Botanical Wonder because it's a cross between Fatshidera lizii and Fatsia japonica. 
and it's somewhat rare-ish, like somewhat rare-ish. Sure is beautiful though, and it seems to really like it out here. Um, back behind that, we've got a, a strawberries and cream syngonium. That one's doing well. And a dragon tree right there. Behind this massive variegated banana tree. It's actually like abyssensis or something like that. It's not an actual banana tree. My husband gets so darn excited about this plant. Um, this leaf right here that's unfurling, he probably tells me about it every day. And I'm like, I know dear, that's really neat. <laughs> but all these leaves that are on here now are, I believe, new ones that have unfurled. We've cut off old ones that have gotten a little crusty and those are the new ones. So it grows really fast. Um, down here, this is a sad little fellow. His name's Brad, and he came from Brad at What the Flock Farm. Brad is a, what's he called? A Calathea orbifolia. And I've seen large ones of these, and they're so beautiful, but this is mine. Um, I've put him right here by the pond. He's got between like, well, there's kind of a high range of humidity out here, but it's usually at least above 60. Um, and he's by all these other plants and by the water. So I don't know what else to do for the guy. Do you guys have any tips? Because the big ones are beautiful and I would love, love, love to help Brad fulfill that potential. We've got the Colocasia Mojito. It's a real beauty. This is a new one we just got for the pond. This is a horsetail reed. Um, I had to have this for the pond because I remember as a kid going fishing with my dad and he would pick these up out of the lake and he'd make whistles for me. And now I've got it growing right in my sunroom. One day if I ever have grandkids, which I sure hope I do, then I will pluck some of this out of here and make a whistle with them. Oh my gosh, look at this, you guys. This is a pitcher plant, a Saracenia. And you can see there's a little, wow, some kind of a wasp on there. Look at his butt. That is weird. Sorry, my hand isn't very steady. I hope he climbs right in there and this little pitcher plant can have him for lunch. And then uh, next down here, this is some water lettuce. We got this for our fish that are in here, mostly. Um, it's got some nice long roots coming out the bottom there so that they can lay eggs or hide or whatever they want to do in there. Looks like it's got some little new shoots coming up there. All right, and then over here, we've got some water hyacinth. So that one keeps getting sucked under the waterfall there, which is fine with me. And this one will actually flower. So will the water lettuce, as long as they're getting enough light. So we'll have to see. And then these fish down here, these are, they cost me nine cents. They're just feeder fish. We've probably had them for, oh, three years or so, two or three years. And I'm happy that they're not gonna have to freeze over the winter anymore because they've got this sunroom. But they've gotten huge. They were really tiny when we first got them. And then just up from that, this is a uh, pixie, is it? No, 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 no. An ivy uh, syngonium. An ivy syngonium. It's a really pretty one. She seems to like it. Over here is a cast iron plant. Um, that one, I don't know what the deal is. The ends of the leaves are getting really crusty. I probably need to move it to less light place. 
over here is my one of my asparagus ferns. Um, this one wasn't doing too great inside. It just started getting a little bit uh, brown in here, but I think it'll do much better out here. And there's one of my Hoyas that I hate. <laughs> just kidding. I don't hate it, but sheesh, sure is dramatic. But it seems to be liking it okay out here. I don't know. It doesn't ever do anything, like I said. It just kind of sits there. So we'll see. All right, and then next to that, this is the Prince of Orange. Um, it was doing well inside the house too, but kind of lost a lot of its color. So that's why we brought it out here. And hopefully we'll get some more of that color back. Okay, and then over here we've got, this is another one of my sad plants from the winter. This is the uh, Silver Dollar Vine. She is looking pretty good. I hope she makes it because she's one of my favorite plants. I mean, how much thicker and more succulent of leaves and rounder can you get than that? And then over here is, this is the Lickety Split Plant. This one hated it in my house. And I have noticed that in the last week or so since I've brought it out, it has showed some signs of improvement. Just looks a little bit more perky. And then last but not least, this is my lovely bird of paradise. Harley and Morgan gave this to me for my birthday and it is pretty spectacular. We might have to build a bigger sunroom one day because I can just see this thing filling up the whole place. Hey guys, well thank you so much for watching. Um, I'd like to know if you guys have a pond, what kind of plants you have growing around your pond, um, what kind of fish you have in your pond. If you have any of the plants I mentioned here and if you've got any tips or tricks or personal experiences, please leave them in the comments because I love reading through your comments. Be sure to watch out for next video when I'll be showing you all the plants that I got from the plant swap which are pretty freaking amazing and all the plants that I've purchased in May. So you might want to pack your lunch for that video because I've purchased a lot of plants. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate you so much. I hope you all have the best day and remember to plant on. Real quick, my terrarium, I brought it out here. It wasn't doing bad or anything like that, but I just brought it out here. Sorry, it's all dusty. We are doing some work out here. Luna, excuse me. But I just wanted to show you. Um, there's the jewel orchid in there. Seems to be doing good. Um, and then we've got the peperomia and a couple peperomias, the string of turtles, and then the, oh crud, I can't remember the name of that one. Um, I actually put my heart fern in here because it was doing so bad. Like it was alive, but the leaves just looked kind of ugly.